Ayo, hey, good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video. Um, today we've got a special one, but we are actually doing a St. Patrick's Day deal. All you have to do is go to our website. Uh, a wheel will pop up when, once you get there, spin the wheel, and you guys will be able to test your luck. You have a chance to win free stuff. You have a chance to get 10%, 20, 30% off. All you have to do is go to the website and spin the wheel. It's literally, literally free to do that. We don't have any St. Patrick's Day merch, but we do have a ton of sales going on. All you guys have to do is go to the website and it should pop up right away. But I do wish all of you guys luck and I hope that you guys enjoy today's video. Hey girl, you need a ride? Uh, today guys we are gonna go see Rudy's Grom. We are gonna go check out the damage and we're gonna go see how bad it really is. I'm gonna pick up Rudy here really quick and then we will get right into it. Hey girl, you need a ride? <whistles> Them gloves though. They look so cool, don't they? I know. Drops April 18th guys. April 18th. <laughs> Stoked. Let's get this braid. I always forget it's like having a little chair. So comfy. Surprised bikes don't already come with them, you know? I gotta hope that there's a gas station over there. I don't know if there is. Yeah, I don't know if there is either. Might be going for a little adventure today. <laughs> Dude, I gotta say guys, Rudy knows how to ride two up. She like uses her legs to like grip my hips instead of like holding me around my waist. I know the movies always show that stuff, but like when everyone has their weight on top of you, every time you go to break, it's like way too hard to even like, you know, ride. All right, you guys, so let's talk about Rudy's bike. If you guys don't know, a long time ago, if you lived under, under a rock, Rudy's bike was stolen. Today, we are actually gonna go see what the bike looks like. Ooh. This is nice. This is really nice. A little jealous, huh? Ooh, that's the spot, babe. That is the spot. Um, but I guess her bike was involved in a hit and run, so they had to take an entire another vest investigation, and they had to hold that bike for like another two weeks. So this is why we haven't been able to see it in so long, and um, I'm just I'm nervous. I'm hoping that the bike is gonna be not too bad. Now I have seen a few photos of the bike, but it's really hard to tell um, if it's gonna be in good condition or not. The insurance said that it was a complete total loss, so that's a little unfortunate, um, but we might end up be able to buy the bike back and then see if we can put that back together. But uh, we really don't know, then that's what we're gonna go find out today. As we are just excited to get all of this over with, man. We've been dealing with all of this stolen stuff, my truck, the bike, all the insurance stuff, the hit and run. I mean, it's been so much to have to like keep up with. Um, so I'm just really excited to get a lot of this stuff done and start making some progress guys get back to just like filming but you guys on a more positive note i don't know if you guys have seen it but ruruk has finally announced the atlas 3.0 and dude how cool is that helmet guys they have so many awesome options uh, you guys got to let me know what what helmet would you guys choose obviously i'm probably going to go with the white one uh, but i do want to get my hands on a couple more as well just because those helmets are so bad uh, but I gotta say guys, Ruruk is really doing it right. They're putting the communication systems in the helmet. They're really just adding technology that helmets have been lacking. Um, what do you think about my helmet? Should I get my old one or keep it? What do you think? Yeah what, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think she should keep the Ruruk or should she go back to her old helmet? Are my lashes still on? Yes. Good. Gotta keep them aerodynamic. <laughs> oh my god. What it's like to have a biker girl, guys. Oh, look at that Ferrari, dude. Oh my god, the cars around here are... I love that she just goes with it, bro. If you guys haven't seen last video where we were riding with a bunch of the Dallas guys, um, that was supposed to be a small ride. So I'd love to do a meetup and um, our meetup's gonna be so much fun, guys. Um, Rudy and I have some plans for some very, very cool stuff, some awesome giveaways at our events too. Uh, but we are thinking about having this meetup in September. Uh, we haven't finalized a date because we still have to put everything together. Just, uh, put that in your calendar. Know that it's gonna be ready. Uh, one of the best meetups ever. Not buddy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome. He's probably terrified. This thing sounds like super mean. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. Don't hit me. Mother... Can I just get $5 on two? Thank you. Yay. Look at how fine she is, man. Got to put that supreme. Yes. Nom, 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 nom. I hate when you prepay, you can't like let go right on the dot, you know? I get to wear the purse. So then you can like... Cool. Don't lose it. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Three lights and we're going right. Got it. 
All right, guys, so we got gas. We're going to head to the motorsports store, and then we are going to, uh, we're going to skip most of this ride. It's going to be all like highway riding. It's almost impossible to hear me when we do that. So wish me luck. Later. How was the highway? That was horrible. <laughs> okay, why, why was this your idea? Yeah, it's definitely not fun on this bike. I gotta say, any bike that doesn't have like a wind guard and you're going over like 65, 70, that's when it gets it gets rough on the interstate. Look at these guys practicing wheelies. Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh, the oh yeah, you're probably right. What's up? Man? What's, up? Hello. What's your name? Man. Welcome to Dallas. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. You like it yet? Yeah, I actually love it. Yeah, it's a great place. Let's go. Let's go. Is this the shop? This is it. Looks awesome. How's it going? What's your name? Craig. Craig. Nice to meet you, Craig. Nice meet you. You're the one I talked to then. Yeah. What a beautiful shop you guys got. Not horrible, huh? Don't mind my purse. That's hers. <laughs> <laughs> is that your Is that your bike? <laughs> so this is it, huh? something on the other side. Gosh. All our walls seem to be wrapped. If you ever need anything wrapped or anything, we can do all that. So we got that and then this is the room and then you guys can come through there. And then obviously this was the shop. And that's the giveaway ground. And this Beautiful. was the customer area, but obviously we are moving out. They're gonna make here. Oh, okay. We wanted people to watch through and see everything. That's genius, actually. Yeah, and then this is the print side where we print everything. Well, John prints everything. Oh, okay. All the wrap and yeah, all the... Yeah, all the wrap gets done here. Final and stuff. We removed our couch and the leathers, and then we're going to we're gonna do this. That's one $8,000 simulator. We're going to get another one. And then oh, we're gonna, okay. I think we're going to do a pool table because they're doing ping pong. We're doing ping pong. Yeah. So they yes. say... Oh. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, I'm not ready to Just so you know, I'm not that good. But I'm still going to be... I just wanted to be like a, I wanted to be an awesome hangout, and then obviously we're gonna do the walls, and then so like a country club for yeah. motorcycles. Yeah, literally. <laughs> just tell you the motorcycles will be up front, and then this right here is our ceramic. This will be our ceramic coating. Not that it takes up any space. It's right. Far in ceramic coat, out it goes. And then down the walls are gonna be uh, like a MotoGP rider, and then a race car rider, and then a MotoGP rider. Yes. That's what we plan. It's amazing because I was like, man, I wonder what you guys are really like. You know, people on camera and people in person so, are oh, totally so different. different. We, could, we could do nothing else as long as you race. I'm totally done. Wow. Looked like someone pooped on it. Yeah, that was off while it was in the rain? Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's all messed up right there. Oh, I see. Okay. Pump it up, it comes back, so it's probably the rotor. Gotcha. And the ignition probably yeah, ignition looks pretty messed up. That one too. I don't know if this happened in the crash or what the deal is, but they probably ripped this open because they couldn't get that unlocked. Oh. And then see they did this as well. Jeez, okay, so it's more than just... Yeah, like it's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. I don't know if the hit and run did this, so we just have to make sure the performance fire is still on. Yeah. Then obviously you've got screws missing and that's damaged. I can see anything else that is super hard to push. So really? Oh man, I really hope not. Do you think that could be because of the caliper? Well, that's what I was gonna say. It's some of that's from that, but it is there's something just else. Just by itself, it's hard to push. Like the wheel should spin, right? Right. No, we clicked the computer. Today. Oh no. <laughs> that might explain it. No, it won't. Yeah. So there's something. So something is going on. It's definitely rubbing up against so, that. Yeah. In all honesty, the frame looks good. I think it's fine. Yeah. That's the main thing that I was worried about. Stop and 
Uh, of yeah. course. Okay, we'll be in touch soon with everything going on. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye, guys. I know, right? Just wait till the subscribers see what we're about to do. It's gonna be lit. Later, guys. Yo, yo, these guys are awesome, bro. At this point, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys, but um, I had a great talk with the guys here at Moto Bros. And, um, I'm just excited for what you guys are gonna see, man. All right, you guys, well, we did figure out a little bit about Rudy's Grom. Um, thankfully, we might be able to get it back together, but we gotta hope that we can buy it from insurance. Um, I'm hoping we're not gonna have any problems with that, but you never know, man. So we'll just keep you guys updated on what we're gonna do with Rudy's Grom. As you guys know, this was much harder for Rudy because it's her bike, so uh, if you guys could just maybe go give her a follow on Instagram or whatever. I wanna thank you guys so much for all of your support on these videos we got a lot of cool stuff coming up soon might even be getting into the race scene a little bit man i'm so stoked for what's to come if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to smash that like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one Thanks. all right you think i should figure out where we're going now <laughs>